Welcome back to Rich GFX. With Valentine's Day just around the corner, I'll be showing you how to create your very own impossible heart. Jump into Illustrator and create a new document. As with all my other tutorials, I always start off with an artboard size of 1920 by 1080 pixels. And then go to Edit, Preferences, Guides and Grid. And from within these settings, we can set up our grid reference, which we're going to use to create the artwork. So we want to create a grid line every 60 pixels, and we want subdivisions set to two. Once you've entered that information, press OK. Then from within the view menu, make sure snap to point, snap to pixel, and snap to grid options are ticked. Make sure we're also using smart guides. And once all them are ticked, we can just press show grid to enable the grid on our artboard. Zoom in on the grid and then Select the pen tool with a black stroke and an empty solid fill. Change the stroke weight to 60 pixels, which matches our grid reference. And then create a simple arch, which is about five square blocks wide and about nine square blocks tall. And when I say square blocks, I mean four single squares is a square block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. Next, using the direct selection tool, select the two top anchor points, then using the corner radius handles, just fully round off that top edge, and then go to Object, Expand, OK, just to convert that into a normal shape. We now need to split this shape into two segments. And to do this, we just need to select the pen tool, change the fill to a solid red, we can just leave the line weight at 1 pixels and we just simply draw the same shape as we did originally. So starting from the center of the original shape, just draw another arch shape. And then using the direct selection tool, select the two anchor points and just fully round it off. Before deselecting, we just want to move this bit up so it falls within the center of our original shape. Now select both shapes, select the Shape Builder tool using the Shift M shortcut and then just click the first segment and then click the second segment. And what that will do is it will split both of these shapes. Just give that a colour, Object and Group. It will turn these shapes into individual shapes. To make both segments more easier to see, we're just going to add black 2 pixel stroke and then select both shapes and rotate it 45 degrees. Hold down the ALT key and drag a duplicate copy. Hold and SHIFT will keep it in line with the original. And then rotate this one 45 degrees in the opposite direction. If you now select one side of our set of shapes and then just move this across to meet the other one, it forms a heart shape. If you want the heart shape slightly smaller, just move the one side over a bit. And then these overlapping parts and the parts in the middle, we can just remove with the Shape Builder tool. Select all the shapes, Shift M on the keyboard, and if you hold down the Alt key, you'll see the cursor change from a plus symbol to a subtract symbol. And what we want to do is hold down the Alt key and just draw a line through parts of the heart that we don't want. Obviously, in removing them shapes, we are left over with a couple of stray little shapes, which we can also remove. We select these shapes and just send them backwards. You see there's some stray shapes here as well. We're now ready to start constructing the impossible heart shape. Now just bear with me on this. If you do need any help, just let me know in the comments below. Firstly, make sure your layers are the same as mine. So the two right hand shapes are above or sitting above the two left sided shapes. Then select all four shapes together, Shift M on the keyboard for the Shape Builder tool, and then just simply click each one of these squares where both or all four shapes meet in the middle. And this will make each one of these squares a separate shape. Next, we're going to want to select the two right bottom squares with the outer right shape, then the two squares which follow from there, and then this inner shape and we just want to merge them together. And we'll actually just change the colour of this just to make it a little bit more easier to see. And then everything which is left, so the outer left one, plus the two small squares, and then the inner shape, 
and then the remaining two squares again just unite those shapes together and then we should have two separate shapes which forms our impossible heart shape we can now hide our grid so go to view hide grid just select both shapes objects group and then vertically and horizontally center them within the artboard and then just re-ungroup them and we can now start adding some color so starting with the the yellow shape select the gradient tool and then using the freeform gradient option starting with the first node we're going to select our first color which will be the darkest pink from within our swatches we do want to note down the colors references I've actually put them on the side and then we want to create or we can actually just use this node and change the color of that one to the lightest pink and then add another node on the inside which will be our darkest pink and then on the red shape again using the gradient tool freeform gradient add a node in the bottom corner and this will be our lightest pink shape uh, lightest pink color sorry the node which is at the top will be again the dark color and then we can add a node on this side which again will be our dark color and then we can add a node at the top here which will be our light color just select both shapes and then change the stroke to the creamish color and we'll just change the stroke weight to one pixel using the teal color we can just create a rectangle which covers our artboard once you've added the background just lock it from within the layers window then select both of your heart shapes hold down the alt key and drag a duplicate to one side from within the pathfinder tool just want to unite them together and then go to actually first we'll remove the stroke color and change it to a solid white and then go to object path offset path and we just want to offset this by around four once the path's been offset select both shapes again shift m on the keyboard hold down the alt key and just remove this most inner shape select both shapes together hit the unite option within the pathfinder tool and then change the solid fill to our off white cream color and then just center that horizontally vertically on the artboard and send it behind our original heart shape which will give us a nice solid border around the the heart shape and that's our impossible heart finished obviously you can take this one step further can add a bit of text and a few other floating hearts around it perhaps add a shadow and just make it your own that's it for this one folks thanks for tuning in if you do need any help with any of my tutorials be sure to check out the discord link in the description until next time i'll see you in the next one